um, 0 0.25 squared plus a quarter squared times 3 right so there's lots of ways of doing this there's no it's not about it's not that there's a wrong way but when I look at this I just think huh I reckon fractions are going to make this easier I just a little bit easier what's 0 0.25 as a fraction it's a quarter isn't it when quarter in money is is 25 cents so, so that's a, a quarter in money right a quarter squared which is a quarter times a quarter right right and here this quarter squared that's also a quarter times a quarter right and then we have times three now just from here to here are we any questions to get from there to there so I wrote the 0 0.25 as a quarter and a quarter squared is just a quarter times a quarter are we okay with that So, so, right, so, so, 1 times 1 is 1, 4 times 4 is 16, and then we have this. How can I write the 3 as a fraction? Lovely, right. So I have 1 times 1 times 3, which is 3 on the top, and on the bottom, 4 times 4 times 1, which is 16, okay? So I have 1 16 plus 3 16. What does that make? So we've got 4 sixteenths, and can I simplify that? Alright, so 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 16, uh, 4 times, right? So that's a quarter. Now now it says to give the answer as a decimal. What's a quarter as, what's a, quarter as a decimal? All right. Now, now again, we didn't have to do it that way. I could have done it with um, you know decimals or whatever so I could have gone 0 0.25 squared is that and I could change the quarter into a decimal which you might just remember that a quarter is 0 0.25 right and then times 3 right and then you go you know 0 0.25 times itself you know so it's not like th this way is wrong I just think it's a little bit more cumbersome perhaps 5 times 5 uh, let's see, you go 5 times 5, 25, carry 2, 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 is 12, and then put down a placeholder 0, 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1, 2 times 2 is 4, and 1 is 5, and add these guys, and we get uh, 5, and then a 2, and a 6, but we have 1, 2, 3, 4, decimal places in the question so there should be one two three four in the answer so the decimal point goes there and we put a zero here so that's zero point zero six two five so this times this is zero point zero six two five and then this times this is zero point zero six two five and then we have times three so I guess we gotta multiply this guy by three that's fifteen carry one and that's seven and that's eighteen and um, there's one, two, three, four in the question, so there should be one, two, three, four in the answer, so that's a point that. So we should have yeah, 0 0.625 plus 0 0.1875. Oh, oh sorry, I, I forgot a zero, didn't I? There, there, okay. So this should be added to that. <laughs> Excuse me. So 0 0.0625, add them. 5 and 5 is 10, carry 1. 7, 2 and 1 is, you know, it's 10, carry 1. That's 7 and 8 is 15, carry 1. 1, 1 is 2.0. Oh, look at that. What have we got? 0 0.2500, 0, 0, which is just 0 0.25, right? So... So yeah, fun times. This is the decimal way. That was the fraction way. My vote is the fraction way. In this case, it seemed to look nicer. But you could do it that way as well if you wanted to. So, Yep. Fun times.